without that player on catwalk now they have to rotate the player out of the a site and this now splits the defense into a 2-2. They wrap back through connector and they want out Palace. It's Neo that gets Oscar. Bondic forced back. Remember Bondic, the newest addition to this team, who's consistent on the flip side squad. Well, he's got to do better here. Takes down Bialy. Bond gets planted though. Default position. Good shot as well on the snacks at the sandwich. And he's going to wrap around. He knows there's one more inside of the site. It's Neo that'll go down to Sticko. Information gained, but Pass is going to fight back. He's what? gone. It's on Taz. Zero finding him, and it's Taz with 5 HP. Good shot, though. On to Zero, can't find him inside the smoke. Bondic's on it. All the taps hit him. He has to get off. It's 11 HP, and one more bullet would have done it. It's going to fight with the P250. And no kit, but he's got it. Does he have the time? We're not going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just does. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, that, that was a very weird tactic from Virtus Proto. Like I said, they had three smokes and loads of flashbangs and decoys. They used them at the start of the round. Where is the bait out the, the, the utility the CTs had? They didn't really react to it. They got in control towards short farm that kill. I guess at that point, they had the man advantage. They're waiting for the reaction to come in from the CTs. Comes down to the 1v1 in the end, and it's going to be Pasha unable to close things out as Hellraisers go up 1-0 here. It was a bit of a tight situation, as we saw. The CT didn't have... Zero trying to play a slightly different angle so we can get an advantage and see all of it when they walk through. Climbs halfway up the stairs. Pasha's going to go the first in. Happen that smoke toward jungle, but thankfully they've already killed off Zero. Not before he took down Snacks. It's still a man advantage, though, for Virtus Pro and another bomb plant. Three straight. Now this inside. The side, oh, nearly denied. As Sticko tries to spray transfer back down from Taz. Smoke out on him late. He's limited from the site. The scout from Oster not going to be able to do the kill on the Neo, but does get the damage in. He's down to 30. And it's 33 for Bialy. So now the tide's turn. But a big pick from Pasha to catch off Oscar. And he's going to be smart about this, not rotate back through jungle. This is going to leave Angel guessing, and Sticko might get caught because he's going to come up behind him. Sticko's got no idea of where exactly he's gone. Does turn around, though, and catches him. The information comes in late that they've lost track of Pasha. And the call was made from Angel. Sticko finds it. They're going to get on this defuse right away as well. Good pick from Angel. This is going to happen. This is definitely going to happen. Neo has to fight it out, and he can't. What a play there. Angel is dropping the smoke, allowing his teammate to go for the full defuse. That's teamwork at its finest there. They really had a difficult time. Is that kill from Pasha towards CD spawn? He didn't even have to pull the trigger there. He could just come in and watch it for a little bit longer. Let the bomb take money to buy, of course, after getting another bomb down. So they can have AKs here. So full on A attack here. First two frags going in favor of Virtus Pro. It's going to be a four on three, though. AWP on Oscar. Can he step up? He gets the first kill onto the snacks there. The alley's going to hold this as well. This angle to try and let Neo plant, but they don't have anyone watching in toward connector. It's late push oh. toward window. What a shot from Oscar. Bialy's so low, they're kind of ringing around this box. They can't find each other yet. It's going to go the way of Bialy, but look out above. It's an easy pick from Sticko. And Pasha was so late. He could have helped Neo by watching Connector and allowing that plant to come in. He may not have had the information on Jungle, but he elected to go toward the window room through ladder, and he was late on the play, so now it's just him and the bomb dropped inside of the site. Yeah, Sticko on this lower ramp right now. You can see Pasha is low HP as well, just 32 points of health. Has to walk out there to get his bomb. Sticko has vision on it, but he's not watching it full time. This could be obtained by Pasha, but he's playing the smart game. He doesn't want to fully commit to this. Now he has been spotted. Has to work out how he's going to get forward here, oh. but goes for the old bait and switch. Tried to get the bomb and run out of there, but it didn't work out. It's going to be Sticko coming out on top there. Nice work. And it all kicked off from those Oscar picks and the fast A play from Virtus Pro there. Very well done. Another round. CT zone. Here we go. On the hunt. They know they're up against it in terms of the buy. So we're pushing into lower ramp. Don't find anything here. So now we'll be surely making our way back towards the B side. You can see a rotation coming in. That snacks with the orb going back towards kitchen. And this could be a perfect call for Virtus Pro if they can just get his first frag. Comes with the pass, you're going to deny the bomb. That would be fantastic considering his HP. I actually like this position. I don't think that'll be checked, you know. It's uh, quite rare these days to see that little boost coming. Are we getting trolled in the bottom camera? I don't know. Perhaps white balancing it. Here it comes. White paper, but Told you, Matt. Pasha here. Well done. Shotgun drops bomb. No plant coming in. Two players left and 12 seconds. That's round over. Pasha's going to stay there as well. They know he's here. They can jump around the corner and get the kill, but still they can't what? get the plant. All right. They have to kill this out. They have to kill this out. Is he on the plant? No, he's not. It's over. One second. He did get it. Oh, wow. The round suddenly is unfolded. Taz has to clutch this. And Pasha gets a little bit too complacent. What a round from Sticko getting forward. He's got four kills, but he's gone. Oscar just needs oh. the one. And a tag on the Taz takes them down to even HP. 16 reloads, thankfully, and that AK is picked up. But it's almost identical. 16 plays 14 on HP. So no, I, I don't know if there's a reference. If there is a reference, we're forgetting. Tweet us. But either way, that's what it says. Well then, round number eight. It's going to be a full gun round here. Both teams are AWP and Pasha. Aggressive, of course. They like to play this aggressive style. It's going to be bonded to pick up the first frag from Shadow there. But Pasha does reply, and they've got control of the A site. Once again, it's Hellraiser taking a little bit of a risk, stacking one certain part of the map. It doesn't work out for them. Bomb will be planted as the smokes are dropped.
folks. At least cover off jungle and the top of what were formerly the E-boxes, the stairs at Connector. Pasha's going to push forward, use that smoke to his advantage as well, and use the benches, but watch out because Angel's come through. No one watching that for him, so Pasha's got no information. No one makes the call, and Angel's able to walk back in, start the retake. But it is still Taz from Tetris that's looking to ch defend this bomb correctly. He goes down. It's now all on snacks. Same angle, same oh. position, and he's got them both with the AWP. Well, finally, some clutch is working out for Virtus Pro there. They went for the very fast, aggressive A take, and normally that's uh, very unorthodox, but it seems like Hellraisers are playing these uh, set layouts in terms of their CT defense and big shots. Angel, so the idea was correct. Just couldn't find the final shot there. It's going to be the P250 to try and finish things off. But Angel, confident in his play here. It's going to get Molotov. Does manage to jump off, only taking two damage from it, so it's fine for now. CT's boosting up on towards the back of the site, though. This is quite interesting. Angel trying to cover off the angle with that boost. It is an interesting boost, that's for sure, but Snacks never walks out. They can't find the angle with it. Pasha going to drop down Oscar. At least Sticko gets the response onto Snacks. Angel still inside this night is a response, though, and he's got the AWP. He's on low HP, but it doesn't matter. He's found two as Neo and Taz are now the last two remaining for Virtus Pro. And they're pretty separated as well. You can see it's going to be Taz now, and towards that A side. He just needs to find a pick at this point. So isolated from his teammate, and that's going to be him going down. And now we just have Neo, the clutch master, but this might be a bridge too far, I feel like, as he's going to run up the A rounds, be greeted by Bondic there, who takes him down. 5-5, five, five. Hellraiser is bouncing back after losing four in a row. Maybe it's five, yeah, that's five in a row. It's five clean rounds for VP. And uh, they finally seem to have adjusted their setup. It's Angel going pretty massively there. But the fact he actually got lagged with the side. Six and now a chance to bring it to 12. Absolutely. No bomb planted whatsoever for Hellraisers. Presumably will be forcing into this round with the Tech Nines and he didn't really get many kills there, so they won't have smoke grenades available. They're going for the more conservative approach. Though. It's interesting. Like I said, most teams almost certainly after not getting the bomb down in the second. But the thing is, we do this, I mean, even if you don't get the bomb down this round, you could do a little cheeky round with uh, Galil's in the third, instead of having the AKs. So let's see what they can do with this one. It's going to be five Glocks, and you can't imagine they'll get too much out of this, but unless they can find uh, the cheeky exchange, it's actually going to get on towards Pasha. He's uh, having problems there. Good shot from Neo, sprays them down. It's back over to the pistol. It's Snacks instead that gets the kill. Doesn't qu look quite as fancy, but still, what a round. And Snacks will close it out, and Neo just dropping everyone, despite that bomb going down from Hellraisers. That's actually a pretty sick play from Hellraisers, going into that one flashbang. Makes Pasha look like he's panicking on the bomb side there. Didn't play the defensive position towards the bench or looking for the early play. It was Neo coming in with a triple spray down with the MP9. Looks good on screen, but ultimately, pretty easy procedure for him. But still, they can't what? get the plant. All right, they have to kill this out. They have to kill this out. Is he on the plant? No, he's not. It's over one second. He did get it. Oh, wow. The round suddenly is unfolded. Taz has to clutch this. And Pasha gets a little bit too complacent. What a round from Sticko getting forward. He's got four kills, but he's gone. Oscar just needs oh. the one. And a tag on the Taz takes them down to even HP, 16. Reloads, thankfully, and that AK is picked up. But it's almost identical, 16 plays 14 on HP. AK versus pistol, it really doesn't make a difference. Bomb still ticking as well, and a smoke off. That's gonna give Oscar the chance to rotate inside of the site, and Taz is gonna lose track of him, tries to wrap around, he's disappeared, but he catches him, just barely. Has got the kid as well. What a back and forth round that was. Very exciting stuff towards the end of it. It was VP trying to Sacrifice a couple of players just to deny that bomb plant. Doesn't actually work out. And his hell rate of planting with four seconds remaining. That's the minimum you actually require. It's actually three and a half. He needs to see four on the clock before it goes down. But there it is. Hell is unable to close things out. Taz, the Iceman, holds his nerve. Finds the final frag there. Like he said, could have gone either way. Both on 14 HP or something. So going to be Virtus Pro getting one step closer here. But the bomb does go down and help. Taz is going to go around behind him, but Zero's heard this. So at least he'll be close to the site, but again, you mentioned it, there was no need to face that. They had the bomb, they had the vision, and now it goes from a three on to one to a one on one. This is the mind games. Who's going to come out on top? Zero with no real information. You heard the vent bust from mid warehouse. That's all he's really got to work with here. So he'll be edging his way towards the B side of Taz. He might go to vent vents once again, you know. That could be really interesting. He will just be going up to a Wrap around the world twice. Yeah, but he's going to be flashing off towards A. Now he actually has no real idea where the CT is either. So we'll just be planning for the open, hoping for the best here. Checks it all out. Actually, a default plan here. Okay. Mm. That's highway. Oh, did he spot him at that jump? He should have been able to. Yeah, he did. Okay. Did he just headshot him? Uh, he definitely hit him down. He's gone down to 63 from a distance on that Glock. I don't know if it's a headshot or not, but zero. He's going to get the shot with the USP. Well, Taz 
did very well there, to be fair. Three on one situation. Took down two players, got the bomb planted and made it very close indeed. Impressive stuff for him to pick up the bomb. And actually, like we said, the CT is challenging a little bit too much, I would say. Obviously, had vision of the bomb, won't even cross fire. And it was two one on one situations. Taz coming out on top. To be fair, you wouldn't really expect him to hit the flashbang player of Snacks to find anything there. Bondic is in behind the quad position. Molotov's going to force him out. Thankfully, a smoke will shield that movement. He'll be able to transfer back in toward the site. But a wraparound from Pasha and Taz from the other direction is going to catch him out. There's no hate, hope for him there. And that smoke that's still limited on the backside of this quad position is going to allow the plant quite comfortably. A boost coming in. And finally, it looks like Virtus Pro not only have the bomb down again, but have a good post plant situation by which they can finally take a round. Yeah, you got the boost going on towards quad here. Going to be dropping down now. Like you said, it does look like it's going in their favor. The CTs have no utility to work with. That shot comes in from Snacks. Now he misses out on towards Oscar, but time ticking away now. CTs need to find something here. And they could do it still. There's no reason why they can just run in and find the kills. There's the first one. Zero and Oscar oh, coming in at the wow. same time. They find the first two. They're lining up for them. No Pasha oh, trying to get the final kill. That doesn't was work so out. close. That spray transfer was so close. And Snacks overstepped slightly. He was scoped in toward A main, and he didn't realize he was exposed that far out toward... Can I, toward the catwalk, I'm afraid, and that shot from Oscar inside the site, too. Well, like I said, I, I could see it, but the face, it's Snacks being very patient, of course. He takes him down towards our vents area. Now it is the two versus one. I hope we can get some more intel here. Jumping up. It's funny how many times we see that swag pistol throw, because it worked that once. It's very rare it does, but you never know. The one-off chance try and bait out this shot from Oscar. He has done it with a strafe jump. This will give him the rotation. So that was the hard part, getting past the AWP. I think it surely, well, what, what's the plan? He's going to run straight towards A through the squeaky door, but the CTs are ready for this as well. You can see Bondic has got control of highway, but he's focused towards middle right now. So this actually could be a really nice play for Snacks. If he can get out and just find the cheeky plan, just towards that depot area, that's probably the best he could have hoped for. He's going to face this. Okay. He's going to oh, always spot him. He's not going for it. Should he not? Him. Commits. To oh! <laughs> oh my God! Oh wow! I guess that's that the definition couldn't have been any more perfect of the touchdown right there. That's uh, landing in his head, pretty much down the throat of Snacks. Like I said, we saw him. How you just taking that shot? He had 10 seconds, sure, but once you spot a player like that, sure he's take out the face. And just maybe he didn't. Maybe he actually had already thought in his head. All right, I haven't seen him dropping down. I'm getting ready. Could have had his eyes off of it for a second. I'm not sure. He pistol, pistol around for the tees every single the time. The burst was overpowered to start out with. It was like, a, like an AK in the pistol round type thing. It was crazy. Yeah. Well, this is uh, the retake game onto the A site. A lot more pressure onto B. Bit of a long rotation from Taz's perspective as he's going to have to rotate all the way back to the B site. In fact, they're going to go for the flank instead. They're relying on Bialy to just get a chance pick through that smoke. He won't do it. And there's no kits. So playing a retake game with no kits means they're going to have to act quick on this retake itself. Two players boosted up, they have the information, they get them both as well. Pasha and Neo, good picks. They're gonna be able to walk in toward A-Main, but look at Sticko's position. Two to face him, he needs to just get away from this. He can't afford to overcommit, and thankfully does not, because they're the only two left from Hellraiser's side. As Taz is gonna take Sticko, it's just on Oscar, he's dropped as well. Very well done on that retake. They set up for it, they knew exactly what they wanted from the round, and they acted quickly. Yeah, very nice stuff there from Virtus Pro. Reacting straight away, like you said, a retake mentality, and sticking together as they were coming in from middle there, finding two kills towards the boost position, and there's one kill apiece for every single member of Virtus Pro there. And this was the really important sector there. That play from the boost spot is when the, they're coming in for the back stuff from highway. These they had remaining against, you can see an orb on Oscar, three AKs. They had to go for some aggressive pushes there. It hasn't really worked out in their favor. They had found one kill, that was Bialy. Now, so much time to play with here. Hellraiser just can hold up and see whether they can sniff out the remaining CTs. Decent position from Neo. Could be towards that sunshine room. As they will be coming towards the B storage here. He could cause a little bit of damage here. If he does find the right timing, could potentially get both of these kills. They are going to be checking it, and the orb is right in front of him. Here we go. Oh, he did check it, but checked wrong. He checked oh. the other corner, and Neo's found both. He checked the Bard off corner, but Neo's got better plans. And it got, it picks up the AWB and another kill goes into Bondic. It's just Angel left. What a round. How to turn this around. Neo's done so well in this situation. Three kills looking for the fourth. Angel's going to face it. Doesn't get it, but it does allow Taz to walk in with the execution. So a round that looked like it was completely over there. Just an MP9 in the hands of Counter-Strike legend Neo in towards that sunshine room. I said that the timing's working in his favor. He could potentially get up both of those kills. And he actually does it as well. Picks up the orb, nails the bomber. And he does drop in the end, but it just sets up his teammate for the little spray down there in the end. But there it is. This is the play off the SMG and picking up the orb as well. Finding four kills overall. was very influential in his current situation. We're going to round number 23. It's going to be another full buy here for Hellraisers. Let's see what BP have got planned here. 
Zero going aggressive in the early boost, but Snacks waiting for him once again, gets the first kill. He's going to be pushing through the terrorist smoke as well. Flashbang comes in, it's going to be quite a scrappy affair. Who's going to come out on top of this? Oh, Snacks certainly does, finds Angel. It's back inside the smoke, he falls to middle, he finds B Bondic as well, excuse me, and Snacks is going to just watch this angle. Oscar, all he can really do is sit up there to watch toward the connector. It's just he and Sticko again. Yeah, the incendiary forces him off as well. A fantastic round from Snacks there. He gets that first kill from the aggressive play from Hellraisers. Flashes himself in. I said it was going to be scrappy, but he comes out on top and Pasha reacting perfectly. He's pushing the beast storage. He's taking down Oscar. And now it's just going to be Sticko in the five on one. Virtus Pro will take the lead for the first time in this map. And they really have arrived in true style, I have to say. Very, very strong round from Snacks. He's been missing from a few tournaments recently. But uh, this series especially, here's the replay on your screen right now, gets that first kill. And this is where it got interesting. Pushing through the smoke, anything could have happened here. And he comes out on top. Great work.